Here we are in the workshop and now we will demonstrate some features on the soil control top. We have here a manifold composed by a mix pro valve called Veox and control top called Soil. This manifold is quite small, it's around one meter by one meter with around eight valve. Uh, the frame is done with a square pipe with diamond shape for cleanability. You have a sink tray, we can slide it to clean it. And uh, we have all pipe uh, welded with orbital machine, so we could ensure high quality and high hygienic process with this manifold. As you could see here, we don't have uh, something is missing here. The control top has not been installed. So what we will do together is to install it and to calibrate it together. The first operation is to install the magnet. The magnet will allow to detect the uh, actuator stroke. So the control top will be installed now on the actuator. As you could see inside, we have solenoid valve, the main board, the inside, inside the control top, it's totally um, sealed with the external side. So what we have to do is to place the control top in this position. After this, we are screwing the screw, the second one. Now we will connect each flexible hose to the right plug. So for this operation, it's quite simple also to understand. You have some mark. The mark two will go with the flexible hose two. The flexible hose number one will go with the flexible number one. We will connect also the hair inlet. So for the installation, the last operation is to connect the M2F connector with a, a small index here. We will place it. Okay, so now we will close it. And the control top, it's uh, blinking in purple. The meaning of this color, it's uh, no calibration, no program inside. So what we will need to do now is to teach him what is the valve, what is the stroke for this valve. And it's quite easy to do. We have just to open the control top again, select the mode auto and click on enter during three seconds. Now the sequence will start and the actuator will move two times. And during this, this two cycle, the actuator will reach the lower and upper position. In the same time, the control top will record this value. It will calculate the total stroke of this valve the timing needed to reach the upper and lower position and you will keep it in mind in the memory, the internal memory, like this, this data will be used later to make some analysis. The cycle is finished, we could close it and now the control top is blue. Everything is okay, the valve is ready to run. A nice feature with the control top is a warning function. This function will allow us to understand if something happened or if deviation will be near to the failure area. In this case, the control top will give a clear signal and will also send a clear message uh, on the HMI. For this, we will simulate uh, something happening into the valve, for example, uh, particles or um, a rearing process on the gasket. To avoid to damage this brand new valve, uh, we will use a small uh, pieces of plastic and I will introduce it between the actuator and the valve. So we will uh, decrease the stroke of the actuator. So the, we will simulate a little bit something uh, into the body of the valve. I will place it. Willie, may I ask you to operate the valve, please? So now the actuator moved up and uh, opened the valve. The control top analyzes uh, analyze everything in real time 
and it detects that something is not totally okay and it gives the warning with a yellow blinking in yellow to explain or to give the signal that something is not uh, totally okay. The valve could work uh, perfectly, but we are very near to the uh, failure uh, position. Right now, the control top blink in red uh, because we exceed the time expected to reach the final position. I will remove the pieces and we will do another cycle to show you that everything is working again as uh, expected. And now the valve is in uh, steady green. Everything is okay, we reach the position and we will not have a warning or even a raid or error on it. In fact, um, this uh, warning uh, sequence or this warning function features, it's uh, to give you an indication of what is the right moment to do the maintenance. Uh, like a wearing uh, indicator on a tire, it will give you the signal that, okay, we are near to the moment or you will lose some sealing performance, the valve will not be sealed against uh, pressure and so on, but you will have enough time to organize a maintenance uh, operation to prepare it instead of, okay, it's failed, now I need to stop my production and I need to repair it now. This warning function gives you time, so it's a saving money, saving time, and so you could also increase your product quality because you know that every time, every cycle you are doing with the valve, everything is in perfect condition. The warning function um, is an interesting point, uh, but we all need also to understand how the control top uh, work uh, during the daily life and the daily use. Uh, the program analyzes uh, in real time what is the behavior, if solenoid device is missing, if the pressure is okay, the temperature, if we have a water hammer. And in real time, it will give back the status of the valve and also send back this information to the HMI. Just to give you an overview of what, what is the real uh, situation, for example, we could simulate, we will disconnect a solenoid valve from the main board and see what happens. Okay, the solenoid valve has been disconnected and we could see we have the LED uh, blinking in red, so the meaning it's error, and you have explanation of the LED array here. So you could refer to the manual maintenance, maintenance manual to understand what is this. And you could also see the clear message, the clear explanation on the HMI. Another interesting feature uh, with the control top, it's uh, when we are using a manifold like this, but maybe a little bit uh, bigger, larger than this one. And we are handling two or more products in the same time. It's uh, very interesting to be able to easily understand the flow path uh, without knowing each detail of the plant, but just with one shot at a glance, we could understand line B, line A, line number three is here, or what is, what is the path for the CIP sequence. Now we will switch off the light. It will be easier to see what happened with the valve cluster. So the control top could have a dedicated color for each product, each raw material used into the plant. So for example, with this manifold, if you want to dedicate the, this line to the product A and give the color green, we could do it. And with the line here behind, that will be the product B and we will give the purple color. So like this, everybody coming in the plant is able to understand Okay, we have two products. Maybe we don't know what is this, but we know we have two different products in same time in this valve cluster. The last uh, function I would like to demonstrate with you today, it's uh, what we call the locate function. It will be useful for maintenance team uh, when we have a large plant or large manifold and we have maintenance to do or inspection on one valve and this valve it's called 
uh, XV122 or B21, for example, I know I need to operate on one valve called B2. Willy, would you please give me the signal which valve is B2? What we implement into uh, the control top, it's this locate function. So you could easily understand the control top uh, saw you have many, many, many uh, functions. It's quite difficult to introduce uh, all of them right now. So the easiest solution to discover it is to have it with you. And uh, for now, this is uh, what we have to introduce. I will be back on stage and uh, talk uh, with you and answer to your potential question. See you.